Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair is Joseph Rolanitis. Now he is the public affairs specialist for the FDA, but I know that that title is much longer. I know that it is. So welcome, Joseph, first of all. Thank you for coming back. Um, and go through your title again, because you do many things. Well, I do. I do. I mean, it's, I've been with him for 20 years, so I've got a, a few little niches after my name. Oh, I'm the, uh, of course, public affairs specialist, one of two in the New England district, and I'm also the Native American outreach coordinator, uh, which means I work with the, the, the 11 10 Native American tribes, the recognized tribes, and the unrecognized tribes throughout New England. And that sort of keeps you busy, gets you out to the reservations, and you, uh, you bring outreach material, you bring the FDA's message to them. Uh, sadly, sometimes they get ignored. And in this rough economic time, um, they're just not as well off, unless you're a casino Indian, and then you're in fine shape. So I work with the Native Americans as well. So that's, that's my entire, basically my entire gambit, really. <laughs> keeps you busy. It sounds like it does. Well, in this show, um, we're going to touch on to talk about um, healthy children and diet. And I know that um, Mrs. Obama has her round plate. She's been nice. She's been re she's been really a part of this, and that's important to have a high profile, um, credible person uh, sort of leading the charge against childhood obesity. It's a good thing. Yeah. And then uh, let's go into our plate dimensions. <laughs> Ooh, do 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 into another world. Um, healthy tips for a healthy body. Um, Hundred percent juices. The more natural you can go, the better. Water is always great. Drink uh, water. Drink milk. water. Drink water. Yeah, uh, right. one percent or non-fat milk. Uh, a lot of times, for calcium for kids. Kids also get their milk in their cereal. Try to get your cereals that have whole uh, ingredients in them. Maybe oats or. Um, whole wheat, things like that, uh, or whole wheat bread as opposed to white bread. And then of course uh, the plate dimension was lean meats or proteins and starch. That takes up one half the plate. And then the other half is your fruits and vegetables, non-starchy fruits and vegetables. And I believe that, is that from Mrs. Obama's? Well, Pretty she, close? the first lady has been a great advocate uh, when it comes to fighting childhood obesity. And, and your plate dimensions are phenomenal. They really are. However, you know, it's not always, uh, doesn't always happen that way. We know that. We know that way. And uh, her Let's Move initiative to get kids out there and, and get motivated. I looked up a stat recently, and it indicated that American children between the ages of 8 and 18, now this is amazing, 8 and 18, prime developmental age for a young American child, spend about seven and a half hours a day, Ramona, in front of a computer screen, on an iPhone, or, or texting someone, mm -hmm. or watching a widescreen television set. Yeah. Seven and a half hours. hours a day. That's not a good it's not a good It's not stat. exercise. It's not exercise. It's not exercise for the body. It's you not. You need to exercise the mind and the body. Oh, you do. So the left, Let's Move program is so vital. Um, spot the block. I don't know if we talked about that before. Um, regulatory agencies, the school systems realize that educating young people under the age of 14 and say over the age of a six or seven on reading labels, understanding what's on a label is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, if you educate young people, you'll, you'll move away from the 10 million obese young folks that we have in this country as we speak. 10 million. That's a lot. It's a tough, it's a tough number to deal with. And we're all going to be involved in their lives as things go on. Mm -hmm. Because <clears throat> what do we see in obese young Americans? We see them developing diabetes at a very early age. We see coronary problems. We see bone density issues. We see all the obesity uh, and you know morbid obesity-related diseases that comes with that age group. Mm -hmm. And we also see um, social images and, and, and what they conceive of themselves. It's a tough thing. Yeah. You know, if we could all eat as well as, as your your graphics indicate, it would be nice. It'd be phenomenal. You know, but it's um, unfortunate we're not there yet. We're sort of going in that direction, I hope. But um, <laughs> so we're, we're really, you know, the CDC and the FDA and other agencies are just, just, uh, you know, working with the, with the, uh, with the first lady and, and other folks to educate folks, to, you know, young people to read the labels, mm -hmm. parents to be responsible. We're in the eating holidays. We're yes, coming into we the eating holidays, holidays yeah. and and it's a wonderful time of the year. 
You set a you set a button down because it's cold out there, and you've got you've got, you got Christmas. The comfort food. Oh, you have that. You yeah. have that. And you can still eat those comfort foods. Sometimes it's portion control, and other times it's just making really small changes. And sometimes you can't get to that whole change right away. You have to do it in, you know, a little bit at a time. Like and great approach. And and uh, I'm I'm hoping that a lot of mothers, a lot of parents, you know, take the time to you know to approach it. That in such a practical format. It's see this a lot of retailers are, are taking this to heart as well. You know what one of the best things that I've seen in the past couple of years are the no candy, no snacks, checkout areas. Yeah. Now that's a response to, you know, practical and responsible retailing when it comes to public health. It really is. And you know, popcorn is a great alternative. Oh it they is. They make all kinds of stuff to put on popcorn now. It's I, I couldn't believe it. I'm it's like, exotic. They got like little cheese sprinkles and this and that I'm like Hey, I'm liking this popcorn. And you know, you can even do it on your own in a pan. The snack world has adjusted somewhat. Um, I mean, you get a lot of light and, and low fat and low sugar and low, low sodium, uh, everything out there, which is nice. Um, I just, uh, we just hope that the Spot the Block, block Initiative, uh, making, helping young people understand what's on a label. That's uh, true, it, what they're eating. Yeah, what will benefit them as far as, you know, carbohydrates, sugars, cholesterol, and stuff like that. And also realizing that, that serving sizes really need to be accentuated a great deal because, you know, a kid will grab a, a box or a container of uh, potato chips chips and it may have three serving sizes but they'll eat them all because well, they're good they, they're wonderful and they're you know they're, they when you eat one and you can't stop until they're all gone right. um, so and you wash it down with, with sugared soda not a yeah. not a good ingredient um, so it's um it's a long road it's an important road it's important for national health and well-being um, there's a big monetary connection to it which is a major concern no matter when yes. and there's always there's always a tragedy of, of younger lives um, not reaching fruition because you, you, you're a diabetic at age 12 and you have all these subsidiary injuries that go with it by the time you're 45. Yeah. Um, so it's, um, it's a responsible part of society and something that I'm glad that you are really pushing and addressing with me. It's a good thing. Yeah. I, I, think, th I think too that you know that the kind of you don't have to give up everything you ate. You don't. You eat. I think like you said it's a, it's a portion thing or yes you can have the chips but with the chips you're going to have carrot sticks or Correct. grapes. Correct. Sure. It's you know? compromise. And then and then and one of the things I've actually even used and I've even used it on myself. So adults go through this too. This is not just a kid issue is I'll tell myself, you know, this is the time I eat. I eat every 4 hours. So it's like this is the time I eat. Okay. Now I may still be hungry because you know I love corn chips. I'm you know I'm not gonna lie to you. I could eat the whole bag. They're so good. Open you know? confession. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. You know, and it's like, but you know what? I tell myself, I'm eating my meal. I'm gonna have this with it. Yes, I'm still hungry for that because it doesn't fill me up in the same way that that food fills you up. But I'm gonna eat in another four hours. So in another four hours, I'm gonna finish those. Well, you're pretty active though, are you not? I mean, you I try around. to be. Yeah. I try to be. You know, so that way I don't feel like I'm losing it. I can just say in another four hours, if I want that, it's mine. <laughs> no, but I mean, that's easier than saying sure. you cannot have it. Because right away you're going to say, well, what do you mean I can't have it? I of want course. to have that. I want, you know, I can splurge. Why can't? No. This way I say, so, and you know, 50% of the time I'll finish them. 50% of the time I won't. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's like retraining yourself in a way. Yeah, re readjusting, and, and we and, you know, we have a lot to eat in America. You know, aren't just, we lucky? Oh, you know, uh. we, we are really lucky. We are, you know, you and I have been elsewhere in the world yeah. where things are not quite as nice as this country. There's a lot here. Um, and it's just it's self control, as you said. It's a little bit of regimentation doesn't hurt you. It's good for the character, and you know what? It's even better for the health and the way you look and where you feel and, and how you're going to live your life. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Got to do okay. it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Thank Jeff. You. I'm Ramona and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.